I'm going to show you now how to make the marinade or the brulot mix, if you want to call it that. Uh, actually, you could base it on a whole bottle of cognac, or you could base it on just a cup, eight ounces of cognac. With eight ounces of cognac, I'd use a lemon and an orange, the whole peel, just the peel, the zest only. I'd use about five cloves and a couple of the broken cinnamon sticks. Uh, assemble it all in a carafe or something, cover it, and leave it overnight. But I'm going to do the whole bowl here. But what I need to show you is the difference between this peel and the peel we're going to use later when we actually make the coffee. I only want the zest, so I'm using a potato style peeler to get the zest only and not all that pith that we had before to give a structure so that we could have the long spiral. I'm still going to do a long spiral, but I'm going to do it as a peel, not, not uh, with the channel knife, which created a much thicker uh, spiral with, with some backbone that would allow it to remain as a spiral. As you can see, this is a little floppy. It probably wouldn't work uh, to actually make the coffee. And you can sometimes get lucky and do this in one fell swoop with your potato peeler. Uh, and then I would drop three of these in for the carafe, right into the carafe. Uh, and I would drop three of the lemon peels in as well. Uh, the lemon peels are made this, exactly the same way. Take the nubs off of both ends, and again, right around, and drop that in there along with the orange peel. Uh, and then we want to take 10 cloves, or it's roughly 10, you don't have to count them out. You can see what 10 looks like. Uh, now the, the, we want to break the cinnamon sticks and drop them in. I'm going to use six for the, for the full bottle. Pour in the cognac, and I'm using an eau de vie cherry brandy. Now, you don't want to buy cherry liqueur. Cherry liqueur is low proof. It's oftentimes artificially flavored. This is actually made from cherries. This particular one is called St. George Spirit. It's made right here in the good old US of A. But it's high proof, 80, and most of them are 90. Uh, that's high enough at 80. Uh, it's made directly from cherries, not from grain alcohol flavored with cherries. So that's what you want to look for. Kirschwasser Eau de Vie. And there are a lot of companies that make it. Schlatterer, Dietling, St. George, you'll find one. Uh, so we, we put half as much of the cherry as we do with the cognac. So if it's a 750, I'll put the full bottle here and a half a bottle here into the marinade. I will cover it, leave it overnight, and in the morning, strain off all of the pieces and clean it up, and you're ready to go.